I can't believe it's over. <laughs> oh, so good. So first things first, thank you everyone for staying with me and helping me out. Every single one of you helped me out one day or, one day or another. And without you, I couldn't have done it probably. I would have probably quit halfway through or something. And I'm really happy that I didn't. And I also want to congratulate you. If you finish your in Inktober, you you deserve praise. You deserve a good pat on the back. And um, this is this was a very sobering experience. It was very interesting to to go through and to learn with. And I'm not regret. I haven't regretted a single minute. But um, this was way harder than I've ever expected it to be. So I'm of, of course I'm already thinking about next year doing it again. But you know. We'll see when we get there. So thank you. And I hope you got everything out of this challenge that you expected to, to, to get out of this challenge. I know I've learned a ton. I'll be talking about that on my next video. I will do a, a review of the entire sketchbook that I've been using for the Inktober challenge. And um, and in there, I will probably talk about a few things re related to the challenge itself and things I've learned. So, I just wanted to say about this drawing that this is not <laughs> a typical Inktober drawing of mine. Um, for this prompt, I chose to do a Japanese theater mask called... Um, I think it's called, uh, I can't recall right now. Let's see if I remember. Um, uh, Shikami, I think. I think it's the Shikami, it's the demon mask. So the Japanese traditional theater, they have a lot of masks and they're all gorgeous. They're all beautiful. They're an art form in, in themselves. And um, I do, quite a bit of them on my tattoo work because they're also a very popular tattoo um, theme uh, like the Hanya mask and all of that and so I'm familiar with this but I've never uh, had the chance to do one of these and I really was missing color and I was missing brushes and all of that so the constraints for today were um, I allowed myself to use uh, color, but as a condition, I could only use brushes. So I did everything with paint brushes, no pens, nothing, just inks, brushes, paint. That's it. So I used um, Indian ink for the black paint and I used Liquitex. Um, Liquitex acrylic ink for the red and Amsterdam ac acrylic ink for the gold and uh, white gouache for the accents um, in the end. Now, it was like probably like the second time I used the Liquitex ink. It's very interesting. It's not like um, watercolor, not, not, not by a long shot, but if you're fast enough and if you dedicate enough forethought, you can actually use it a little bit like a watercolor. But it's it's not watercolor. It's it's once it's once it's dry, it's not reactivatable at all. It's permanent. That's it. Get one chance. But I had a ton of fun with this um, drawing, and I know it's a bit simpler than the other ones I've done, but I really had you know, a ton of fun and I really wanted to do something with color and I wanted to go out with a bang, so to speak. I really like this one. So I just, um, I hope you guys like it. 
it's a completely different style, but I think it's it's interesting. And who knows, might be something you guys enjoy. I might even do some more of these typical tattoo uh, designs. That they're they're actually really good to use ink with because most of them have either strong contours or uh, very strong values in contrast. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, the gold I already had used in a in the past. I I I did a few pieces with it, and I really love that um, gold ink. And if well used, it can be a beautiful accent. I'm just drawing. In, I think you'll be able to notice this more the day that I do that uh, sketchbook uh, review because I will be able to show you guys on camera how it reflects and how it works as a, uh, a golden paint. So I think that's very interesting and I think you guys, you guys will like it. So yeah guys, um, I already have plans for my next videos so I hope you stay with me and um, I couldn't have done it without you and I really enjoyed this and I hope you stay so that I can further develop myself and you help and can help me with that basically um, yeah I've enjoyed this thoroughly and uh, hopefully I'll repeat it next year and like I said I hope you guys stick stick around and um, Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.